Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to use Morsa Guillotine to smoothly and accurately cut moulding. Safety first. The blades in the Morsa are incredibly sharp, so keep the guard on at all times. Be careful not to touch the blades. We're going to be making a frame with the internal dimensions or glass size of 200 by 300 millimeters using this mono molding. When using the Morsa to make a frame, the first thing we need to do is measure the molding width, not including the rebate. Using this ruler, we can see that this molding has a width of 32 millimeters. Using this measurement, we're going to line up the two scales, which will make sure our inside lengths are correct. So we need to line up 3.2 on the upper stop beam with 302 millimeters on the bottom scale. We're adding two millimeter tolerance to allow for mount board movement once the frame has been put together. We're going to do the long lengths first so we can reuse them as shorts if there are any issues. Now move your molding up to the stop. To avoid the blades crushing the more delicate rebate, we're going to adjust these rebate supports to hold it in place and prevent splits in the molding. With your hand on top of the molding, move it under the rebate and turn the nut until you start to feel resistance. Then turn back a quarter of a turn to make sure it doesn't lift the molding, which would affect the angle of the cut. Here's a close up and we do this on both sides. This Morso is fitted with the optional automatic rebate supports, eliminating the need to manually move the rebate supports after every bite. We're also going to tighten these knobs, which make sure the supports move along with the molding. The handle on the front controls the linear movement of the blades. We're going to use it to move the blades in, making small cuts each time. Use the foot pedal to smoothly bring the blades down to make your first cut. Before lifting the blades, it's a good idea to move them back slightly to make sure you don't damage the molding. Continue to move the blades in increments until you've made it all the way through, with the last cut being a small shaving cut. Follow the same process for the remaining lengths, moving the stops for the shorter measurements. And here it is. As you can see, the Morso gives a really smooth cut, meaning you're less likely to need to do any additional preparation to your molding. Go online to lionpick.co.uk for more info and get in touch to book a demo. And don't forget to check out our videos on how to join moldings.